Will this new bill have a negative impact on the crypto market? Representative Don Bayer claims that crypto regulation is out of date. For months, the crypto business in the United States has speculated on the form that further regulation might take. This week, we received some answers in the shape of a new crypto bill introduced in the House of Representatives. Representative Don Bayer sponsored the Digital Asset Market Structure and Investor Protection Act of 2021, which lays out a framework intended to clear up many of the existing gray areas in crypto regulation. Recently, the business has been under heavy criticism. Elizabeth Warren questioned whether the SEC has sufficient authority to regulate cryptocurrency exchanges, while Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell stated that greater regulation is required. As a result, the new bill's measured, and at times encouraging, tone is almost refreshing. What does Bayer's crypto bill cover? Digital assets and blockchain technology have immense potential, and it is evident that assets like Bitcoin and Ether are here to stay, Bayer said in introducing the bill. However, he considers current regulations to be out of date, arguing that a comprehensive framework for digital assets would protect investors, foster innovation, and create jobs. According to Bayer, many of the 20 to 46 million Americans who possess Bitcoin are ordinary Americans, not major institutional investors. He also said that too many people had fallen victim to fraud and hacking. Here are some of the bill's proposals, as well as why they are important. Determine which government agency is in charge of which assets. One issue for crypto regulators is that it falls within the purview of multiple bodies. As a result, evil actors might easily slip through the cracks. Cryptocurrencies work in a variety of ways. Some are simple currencies, others are programmable blockchains, and still others are more akin to traditional equities. The law would classify various sorts of digital assets and specify which agency would be in charge of them. Clear up any doubt about what constitutes a Bitcoin exchange. In addition, the bill seeks to distinguish between money service firms, MSBs, and securities or commodities exchanges. Currently, cryptocurrency exchanges in the United States must register as MSBs, but some may be better characterized as securities exchanges, and so subject to tougher rules. Make digital assets official by classifying them as monetary instruments. As a result, cryptocurrencies would be subject to existing anti-money laundering, AML, and reporting regulations. It is unclear how this will affect anonymous decentralized exchanges, given that the major goal of AML law is to eliminate anonymity. Allow for the creation of a digital dollar. Earlier this year, the Federal Reserve said that it was investigating a digital dollar. This would have the benefits of cryptocurrencies, such as faster transactions and improved security, but none of the risks. It would be supported by the government as a centralized currency, much like the dollar. Stablecoins are being restricted. Stablecoins are cryptocurrencies that are linked to other assets such as gold or the US dollar. They've recently come under fire because there isn't enough clarity about whether they're backed by enough cash to support the number of coins in circulation. Authorities are also afraid that stablecoins will function similarly to banks but without the same level of regulation. Certain products must bear clear consumer warnings. Currently, numerous decentralized finance applications offer products that resemble traditional bank savings or loans. Indeed, the whole goal of DeFi is to cut out the middlemen, banks, from these transactions. However, removing the banks reduces consumer protections. A DeFi savings account, for example, may not be insured by the FDIC. The proposed bill would require customers to understand what safeguards they have and do not have. What effect will the measure have on the cryptocurrency market? 
The bill is still in its early stages and will almost certainly be modified and revised as it moves through the House. However, as it is, it appears to address a number of serious issues without being overly harsh. In the long run, it is unavoidable that cryptocurrency regulation will be tightened. However, it may aid in increasing customer trust and adoption of digital payments. It will almost probably undercut Bitcoin's basic ethos, which was designed to remove central banks from financial transactions. However, if cryptocurrency is to gain general acceptance, clearer laws are required. And many industry participants would appreciate more direction. For example, the SEC is currently pursuing a case against the cryptocurrency Ripple, XRP. The SEC claims that Ripple behaved as a security rather than a cryptocurrency, and that as such, it violated US security laws. However, because the criteria defining what is and isn't a cryptocurrency were not explicitly stated, Ripple executives claim they have done nothing unlawful. Take for example, the stablecoin Tether, USDT. We have a coin that is ostensibly tied to the US dollar, but it hasn't always had enough reserves to sustain itself. So, if a large number of users become terrified and decide to withdraw all of their tether, we can't be certain they'll be able to do so. That is something that consumers should be safeguarded from. That's not even taking into account the numerous examples of fraud and deceit that have cost investors millions of dollars. When purchasing a cryptocurrency today, it is difficult to know whether you can rely on the information offered. And in an industry with a market valuation of more than $1.5 trillion, there is cause for concern. In the short run, increased regulation is likely to have a short-term impact on cryptocurrency values as the market adjusts to the new laws. Any new regulation will almost certainly create anxiety and uncertainty. Bayer's bill is only one of numerous measures in the works. However, the law as a whole is a terrific place to start. We'll have to wait and see what other bodies propose, and whether the bill becomes stronger or weaker as it passes through the parliamentary process. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.